everyone, so Relita back again and I wanted to do a little quick video. Uh, pardon the washer and dryer in the back, it's laundry day, but I still wanted to do this video. So I found a bunch of cool things, uh, some at the thrift and some were gifts. Uh, I found some cool pony DVDs, uh, Escape from Katrina. Now I do have the box, set, uh, the box set, the pink one that came out a long time ago that had this movie included in it, but having a sealed copy of the original is pretty cool. I never got super into G3, but this is like G3.5, which I heard was pretty okay. And it, it even has a tie to the newer one, but it's another sealed DVD. Uh, another one with a couple of the movies from the ponies. This is G3. I used to have the Minty's Christmas, but I don't anymore. I even found a uh, strawberry shortcake from the 2013 version. And Bratz go to Paris of all things. Uh, someone recently gifted me a vinyl scratch uh, DJ Pony uh, collectible from Comic Con like 2014. Uh, this one was the black variant where the the main color of the pony was turned to black, and then um, the normal hair colors and stuff. But they had an extra one, so they gave it to me, which is pretty cool. Then we went to the thrift store and I found this little like snail guy or turtle. I think his name is Stanley. It's a dream keepers and you would put stuff in here. Now mine didn't come with the key, but I still thought I was like, hey, how funny is it? I just saw a video about this toy and there it was at the thrift store and it was not too expensive. So I had to save him from despair and clean him all up. While there, I also found a giant jar of My Little Pony. So these were mostly G3. I am not sure of the names of some of these because I wasn't a super G3 uh, person at the time. I was mostly a G1 and G4, but this is pretty cool. This one has like an actual like three-dimensional cutie mark. And I believe this is a magnet that lets things stick to it. Uh, here's like an OG uh, Pinkie Pie before she uh, you know, became the one with the curly hair we know. Some of these ponies I'm having to clean up their hair and stuff so they're not perfect, but we're getting there. You should have seen them when I first got them. They were pretty, pretty bad. Let's see. A very pink Celestia and her shoes are not painted and her hair. I don't think they really understood how to conceptualize her hair from the cartoon, so. This is actually pretty heavy duty, not like a lot of the newer ponies that are very hollow. I got another sunset. I already had her, but this one has like the extra cutie mark flames on her face. I had the plain one. Another DJ pony. This one has the molded uh, top hair and uh, the fluffy tail. I gotta, again, brush some of these out a little bit. Got a couple of rainbow dashes who ironically have different colored tails. So that, I think they're just like different companies. The hair is completely different, if you can see it. Sorry, these are kind of hard to grab sometimes. I got a recolored uh, rarity, which I referenced on my cover that I did for IDW issue 43 with the Discord's co collection. So that's clearly rarities based, but it's a different pony. And here's a recolor of Twilight Sparkle, basically. It was cute. It was in the same bag, it was a huge lot. Then I got this pony. I'm not really sure who she is. Um, her head is uh, discolored a bit from her body, so she's kind of like pink-faced, which is kind of funny, but you know. This one is a really hollow I don't know if you could hear that. It's like, she's really hollow plastic, hard plastic, and her hair is strange looking because they're trying to mimic a two-dimensional character in 3D, but that's rarity. I'm not sure what that was from. If you know, you can comment below. Then, let's see, okay. There's another one, it's Pinky with her molded hair and then her normal tail. And another G3 pony. Not sure which one this is. And then I got a bunch of these, I think these might be Happy Meal ones, cause they've got, 
they've got a plastic tail, but then they have the mane, which is weird, kind of inverted. And here's a, a G3.5 with, again, the weird plastic tail. I think they may be McDonald's toys. They're super cute though. They're really heavy duty versus like a lot of the stuff now that's all super lightweight and cheap. But I mean, look how cute that paint is on her face. She's cute. Um, here's another one. This one's pretty, pretty wild with her hair. I gotta fix it, but it's another one. And like I said, they're really solid. And then a poor Applejack with a very short tail. I think they cut off her tail. She's still wet because I washed all these. But, uh, and then the last thing I got was a Rainbow Dash who was in the pile and man, her legs, that is like the weirdest plastic to use for a doll. But this is like the, I think the very first wave of the Equestria girls. I did have, uh, what's her name? Rarity, but I think I gave that away because I really wasn't into the G1 or the G3 version, the first Equestria girls. So that's what I got on my haul. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, let me know if you see any other uh, thrift stores in Texas that might have toys. As you can see, a lot of these things up here were uh, repurposed or they claimed them back from uh, vintage shops and some weird little things. I just love to collect 80s stuff. Like there's a vintage doll there, that cat doll. There was a lamb one, but oh man, they wanted it for 50 bucks. Couldn't do it. But if you see anything cool, you think I might like it, just let me know. Maybe I'll give you a place to send it. Talk to you later. Bye.